Hi! In today's video I want to show you how to cross-compile a Linux user space Hello World application for this Forlinx OK6254 board. So this system on the module features um, ASIC from Text Instruments and on this ASIC we have a quad-core ARM Cortex-A53 processor up and running. And today I will um, create a small user space application for this processor. The first thing we need to check is which compiler we are going to use. So in my case, um, my Linux SDK came with an Arago package and this includes a compiler. So let me go to sysroot x86 64 Arago Linux and here under user bin we have the OR64 non Linux GNU GCC compiler available and this is the compiler I will use to compile my Hello World application. So let me copy this path here because I will need it later for my Mac file. Next thing I will do is I will navigate into my Linux SDK and in here we have a folder called App Sources for some, applica um, for some um, ap example applications. So let me cd into it and here I will create a new folder I will call hello. Okay, so now we will write a small C application which will cross compile later. So I will call it helloer.c and all it does is include standard io.h. I will add an empty main function here and this all this main function does it it will output hello from my for links OK6254 board. I will print a new line and then I will return zero and that's my main function. Now in theory we could directly compile it by using my compiler, passing in the input file, the output file should be helloer and that's it. Now we have compiled it. Let's see if I have filed installed. Yes, so this is a uh, uh, ELF file, 64-bit, LSP executable, built for ARM or Arch64. But I want to aut um, automate the build process in a make file. So let me add a new make file here. So first I will set up a variable containing the um, compiler I will use. So this is my Arch64 non-Linux GNU compiler. The first target I will call helloer and it needs helloer.c. What I will do here is I will call my compiler, I will compile helloer.c, the output file should be um, helloer, and that's it. Let's add a clean target here. Here I will just um, remove the helloer file, and let's also add an apply target here. So in this apply target, what I want to do is I want to copy my build application into the files um, root file system. So here I have OK 62541 Linux FS root FS and I want to have it in user bin. So here it should be created. Let me see if I can copy this. Okay. For apply I need the build binary. And then what I will do is I will copy helloer into this path here. Okay, let's see if this works. First I will call make clean to um, clean my last build. With make I can build the program. So now I have my helloer here. And with sudo make apply, I will copy this file into my root file system. Now I have already plugged in my um, SD card but I haven't mounted it yet. Yes, I have rootfs. Okay, so here is my rootfs. So let me go out from this folder and with my rsync command, I will sync my root file system on my PC with the root file system on the SD card. So let's run this. This will take a little time. Okay, now it's done and if I go to um, user bin, I should have my helloer in here. 
Uh, yes, the store is a little bit. Ah, wrong, wrong path. User bin hello world, and here it is. Okay, so now let me try to boot my for links board and run this application. Okay. So let me plug in the SD card into my board and let's start it. Okay, now we can see the board booting, so let's give it a few seconds to boot. And then we will try to execute our cross compiled Hello World application. Okay, let me log in with as root user. If I look into user bin helloer, we have this file here, and if I execute helloer, I get the message hello from my for links OK6254 board. Cool, so that's how to cross compile a first simple hello world application for an embedded system. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye.